Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn another interesting question from RLC series circuit. In our previous video we have already learned about what's mean by the reactance resistance as well as well, how to deal with resistor inductor as well as capacitor. If you haven't watched those videos, I have given the link in the description so you can always watch them. Also, if you are new to this expert tutor channel, please consider subscribing. Without wasting our time, let's move to the question. So in this question, they have asked, there is an unknown capacitance with a capacitor, they have given a capacitor, but the capacitance is unknown. And it has been connected in series with resistor, which is having the 5 ohm resistance and inductor, which is having 10 micro Henry inductance to a 10 voltage 159.16 hertz source. If the current is 1.414 with an angle minus 45 degree ampere, determine the value of capacitors. Please stop the video and try to do this question in your own. After that, watch the rest of the video so you can understand it more clearly. So in this case, we are going to deal with the same methods in the previous videos we have already discussed about these things, the series RLC circuit. Here also we are going to use that, but here normally they actually ask to find the impedance, the total impedance or total current, and they will provide these all values for us. However, in this question they have mentioned all other data and they are asking the value of capacitor that's the only difference they are given in this question so before we are doing that let's mark a diagram and mark all the data they have provided so if I use this data we can directly tell there is a capacitor as well as the resistor and there is an inductor in that series so we can write it like this, there is a C, R and L. After that they have mentioned some values, so I am going to note in here. So it's going to be 5 ohm and 10 micro -hertz. So after that they are given, they are, they are giving the voltage in 10 voltage for these three elements. The total voltage is 10 voltage, let's mark it like 10 voltage. And also they have given the frequency 159, 16, 16 hertz. The next part is they have given the current for this. Actually, we knew that if, as this is connected in the series, we can tell that each element is going to get this same current. So let's mark it like this one, I. And they are given in the polar form, and we need to figure it out that determine the capacitor of that capacitor. Actually, if you don't know anything or how to figure the answer, just do whatever you knew. Actually, if I have this one, what we can do is we knew the voltage as well as we knew the current. From that, what we can do is we can find the total impedance using these two values. So in the first step, I'm going to find the total impedance first of all. So if I write the equation, it's going to be B is equal to I into Z. From that, we can directly write Z would be equals to V over I. The next problem is whether this 10 voltage in polar form or time domain form, which simply means B aim sine omega T plus 5. So there will be a doubt for some students whether we need to use this value directly or is this the maximum value. So the answer for this question is we are going to consider as the polar form if they have given any RMS or any magnitude values only, you can directly consider as it's they are given a polar form with a reference angle with zero. So you can directly use this one. If they haven't mentioned the angle, don't worry. They are given the RMS value, so you can directly write it like this 10 with a phase angle as zero. Because they haven't mentioned the phase angle, so you can directly use that is as zero. So after that I'm going to divide it by that i 1.414 with a phase angle minus 45. So now we have marked all the things. So the next thing is we need to divide these two. 
So actually we have already learned that when we are dividing these two uh, polars, we can directly divide the magnitude 10 divided by 1.414 we are going to get 7.07 .07 with the when we are dividing these two actually we need to deduct this part this angle from this angle so if we deduct minus 45 from this zero we are going to get 45 degree and the value would be the unit would be ohms so now we have found the impedance the total impedance so the next step is how we are going to use to find the capacitance using this one how we are going to find that actually we have already learned about this too when there are any impedances connected in series there are many impedances connected in series we can directly tell the z equivalent would be equals to the sum of the total sum of individual impedances so from that we can tell it's going to be equal to zc plus zr plus z a so now i am going to use the equation to figure it out actually we knew the value of z equivalent and let's use the zc we can directly write it like it's going to be minus one omega into c into j as it's in the reactant it's going to give the reactance part we need to put this j or i to mean that this is a complex number form so minus one over omega c we have already learned that Likewise, we can directly write the ZR would be the real part of that total impedance and the ZL would be omega into L and that would be the complex number part as it's going to denote a reactance. In the next part, I'm going to join the real part into ones and if you join these two parts, it's going to be omega L minus 1 over omega C into J. So the next part is we need to figure it out how to join these two we can directly write we can either change this one to this form complex number form or we can change these to polar form and equate these two so it would be easy to uh, uh, change this one to polar sorry cartesian form the complex number cartesian form because actually we knew the value for we knew the total value for this one so i'm going to change this part to cartesian form it would be simple you can directly write 7.07 .07 cos 45 and plus 7.07 .07 sin 45 into j either you can use that or you can use this calculator directly i have already mentioned that i have already done a previous videos regarding this so you can always watch that how to change the answer from polar to cartesian form so i'm going to use that method 0.7007 with the angle 45 if i click press one sorry press equals and i'm going to get 4.99 which simply means it's going to be 5 plus 5 into j so if i write over here it's going to be 5 plus 5 into j actually we knew the value of r is going to be 5 again and the next part is omega l minus 1 over omega c the imaginary part the real part in front of imaginary part is going to be omega l minus 1 over omega c which is equal to 5 actually we need the value for l inductance would be 10 micro entry but here we need to find the value of omega to figure the value of c how we can find the value of omega the next question is how we can find the value of omega actually we knew that equation 2 is going to be omega is equal to 2 pi f now we already knew that frequency which is 159.16 hertz if you multiply this you are going to get thousand radian per second so now figure it out now we have figured it out the value of omega from that we can directly use substitute this value on this equation after that we can find the value of capacitance by solving this equation hope this video would be useful for you if you have any doubts please comment it below thank you